I'm, I'm confused. Is that a weave? Is that your real hair? Bundles, bundles, bundles. Hit that plug up for the bundles. What's good, y'all? So welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing yet another trendy bobby pin hairstyle. Um, right here I'm just showing you the back of the wig. It is full lace. And this wig is from Her Given Hair. This is their curly texture. Um, the wig came pre-plugged and it is 18 inches. So right now I'm kind of just hopping right into the hairstyle. Just parting off two front sections around the edges. Here I'm going to um, create braids before I continue on with the rest of the hair. But let me first say, quick side note, um, this whole video I recorded added up to like 42 minutes worth of footage and I was talking through the whole tutorial. And then when I came back to edit it, I realized my mic was not even on the whole time. So I was talking, but y'all couldn't hear me. So here I am doing the voiceover. <laughs> now that I have these little sections parted off, I'm just detangling it with some water from my spray bottle. Um, and with these sections, I'm basically just going to braid all the way down to the end. Uh, the first half of the braid is, of course, going to be connected to the head. And then after it passes, like, the sideburn ear area, um, it'll just be hanging kind of like a plait. Uh, when I did this tutorial, I kind of just was winging it. So if y'all don't like this style, let me know in the comment section. But if y'all do, if y'all feeling it, also let me know. Like I said, this is kind of, like, off the top of my head. So just bear with me this complete tutorial Now that both of the braids are finished, I'm going into the back of the hair. Now this hair is not high maintenance at all. Literally all I did was part the hair into a couple of sections and I didn't I didn't even detangle the whole entire thing. I kind of just sprayed the ends to define the ends a little bit more and it still allows the hair to have like the fluffy full look. I didn't really feel like waiting for the hair to dry. You know how that goes with curly hair. so. Like I said, I just detangled the ends of the hair on the back sections and then on the front sections, I detangled the whole entire thing to make it, you know, lay down a little bit, be a little neater, but yeah. Like I said, this hair isn't very high maintenance, so it really didn't take a lot for it to look back neat and brand new again. Um, so now I'm just going into the braids and kind of just pulling the plait apart a little bit to make it have like a little, you know, more wider, thicker effect. 
but once that's done the hairstyle is pretty much finished but now we got to get into the actual bobby pins i didn't know what kind of look i was going for so i just started sticking bobby pins in and kind of just went with it so literally i'm sticking the bobby pin through the first part of the plait and letting it come out on the other end but make sure it doesn't go completely through because if it goes completely through you won't actually see the color of the bobby pin and i proceeded to do this all the way down the entire braid even the parts of the braid that was no longer connected to the head um i just stuck the bobby pin through the braid making sure that the end of the bobby pin was showing so that you could see the color and that's basically all i did for the bobby pin look um but continue watching to see me finish it off After this last bobby pin, I'm pretty much finished. Um, I use the same bobby pins on all of my bobby pin hairstyles that I've done so far. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. This is kind of different. Um, but who wants to be a regular regular girl? You know what I'm saying? Why not try something new? Um, but let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.